Hi, welcome to LCR and more. My name is Laura and I am so happy that you stopped by today. I will be sharing some Christmas DIYs. For my first project, I will be making a countdown Christmas calendar. I will be using that cute decor piece, a galvanized frame, those are from the Dollar Tree, two large paint sticks cut down to size, and I printed out a December calendar. I just Googled it uh, for 2023. I was going to use that little star, but I changed it up. And then I keep my scraps in a book and I needed a clear piece of paper. I didn't want the paper to get ruined, you know, throughout the years or the use of the calendar. So I do want to cover that uh, paper up. So I just cut out a page from this little binder that I use. Yeah, I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. So there is that and I just cut that down to size. I couldn't find a piece of wood the thickness that I wanted, so that's why I'm using two of the paint sticks. But if you have a piece of wood, a thick piece of wood, this step is not necessary. I am going to just glue those two pieces together with some wood glue, and then once that dries, I'll paint that white with white chalk paint. And then this decor piece, it has like a paper picture on it and I just want to remove that paper so I can get a nice clean slate. So I just used some water, let it soak and scraped it off. Sometimes those pieces of paper from the Dollar Tree come right off of their decor pieces and sometimes they don't. And of course, this is one of those times that it didn't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let that soak up scrape it off and I will be painting that with white chalk paint as well. I stuck a piece of printer paper inside the frame to protect the galvanized uh, insert and I don't know that it's necessary but I didn't want the magnet that I'll be using for the countdown. I didn't want that paint to interfere. I don't know that it would but I was taking no chances and I just painted that with white chalk paint. Off camera, I painted some wood pieces from the Dollar Tree, Let It Snow and Merry Christmas. And then I have these half beads from Amazon. I stuck those to a piece of tape, painted those as well with the Dusk Chalk Paint by Waverly and one snowflake. And then I painted four snowflakes with the color Crystal that is also chalk paint from Waverly. And now I want to insert my December calendar. I just cut that down to size. It took me a little bit to get it right, but I finally got it. And then I just stuck the plastic in as well, just kind of bending it and piece it in, piecing it in to the frame. And now it's time to glue everything together. So I'm gonna glue the paint sticks that I glued together on the bottom of the frame, and then I'm gonna glue that decor piece to the top of the frame. I did use E6000 for this. I wanted a nice, sturdy hold. And now to glue on the embellishments. I just use hot glue for this. Uh, the Merry Christmas word will be down on the bottom. The Let It Snow will be down on the top. And then I just started embellishing with the uh, crystal colored snowflakes. And I, don't you love those colors? I love that dust color by Waverly. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I'm just trying to figure out where I wanna add these snowflakes and then I did glue one magnet to the back of the snowflake that I colored with the color dusk. And that will be the countdown piece. So 
I'm just going to play some music and let you see how I ended up embellishing this December countdown sign calendar. <laughs> Oh, and those half leads, I use those for the center of these snowflakes. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, oh, la da 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 oh, oh, la da 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 making our Christmas memories. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh. For the next project, I have this frame that I had gotten from Dollar General, and I never used it, so I thought, you know what, let me change it up, make it a Christmas decor piece, this is going to be another it was going to be a countdown, but I ended up just printing off the words Merry Christmas, and I just I just like that better. So you could always use this as a countdown as well. Just Google um, the December 2023 calendar, and then you can also use this year after year because you can just change the calendar inside the frame. I forgot to mention that in the last DIY, you can also change that up every year as well. So just change the calendar and you're ready to go. Then taking some floral pieces from, I believe this is Dollar Tree. I just you know cut the little pieces off of the pick and I'm just gonna glue those pieces together to form a wreath.
And now I want to paint this house up. I actually got inspired by Lini from Crafty Lini. She made the cutest Halloween clock house. Go check her channel out. It was so darling. I loved it. So I had this house and I did get inspired by her. Um, mine is going to be Christmas and hers was Halloween, but I did get inspired by her. <laughs> so I'm going to take that beautiful color desk and I'm going to paint my house up. I did end up using or painting stripes. So every other of those planks that you see there will be white and then one will be the color desk. And I'm not going to play the whole footage of me painting this house. I think that would be kind of uh, boring. It did take a while because I had to tape, paint, tape, paint. So I just used masking tape to tape off where I wanted the white or the blue. And here is the finished product. And here's what it's looking like. I just love those colors. So now I'm going to embellish it a bit with the wreath. And I did make a little bow using a coordinating color. You see that on top of my wreath there. And then I have some Christmas trees. I also painted up, I have these miniature planters like a terracotta pot. I painted those white and blue as well. And I just started embellishing my house. I cut some little foam pieces to stick inside of my terracotta pots. Um, that way I can stick the Christmas tree right into those. I removed the base of the trees and just used that wire on the bottom to stick right into the terracotta pot. Using some white chalk paint, I just added some more snow to those trees. It was a little bit uh, frosty, but I just wanted more snow. <laughs> I also added some snow to that wreath, I believe. And yeah, then I just glued those Christmas trees right to the little rim of that house, right on the bottom, right in front of the blue stripe the color desk stripe and that was that was it that this came out so cute and so simple it's so fresh looking to me in my opinion <laughs> so anyway uh that's it that was it to this it was not very hard it, it was just time consuming to have to tape um off all those stripes but anyway that's it and I'll show you how it turned out in the final reveal. For my final project today, this was inspired by May uh, Crafting with May. Go check her out too. I'm going to have both of Lini's and Mary's channels linked down in the bottom in my description area. Check them out. They're amazing, amazing crafters. But Mary had made one of these. It was a globe. Um, and I thought, oh, I have got to try this. So I'm going to take this paddle. Uh, sometimes, like I said, that paper comes right off and sometimes it doesn't. So <laughs> I did use some water to soak on this and I removed that paper and I just painted that with white chalk paint.
Okay, now backing up just a bit, I do want to mention something. Before I remove the paper from the Hello Fall sign, I have two of these plastic garden bowls from the Dollar Tree. You can barely see the difference, but the older design was a lot, or not a lot, it was smaller than this size here. So I preferred the smaller size because it fit on the board perfectly. I see here, you can barely, barely tell, but it sits on top of the board versus right on the side of the board. If, you, if hopefully you're following what I'm trying to say, but so this is the one I wanted to use and I ruined it. It said made in China right on the middle of that bowl on the bottom. So what I did is I took a emery board and I tried to sand that off and it just looked terrible. It scratched it. I hated it. So I was on the hunt for more of these bowls. I've got to tell you, they didn't, I went into the Dollar Tree. They had one left. I was so excited. I got it. I brought it home and it was this, it was too big. It's the newer style. So I, I could not find, I kept looking, 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 um, for this size. I ordered some from the Dollar Tree and it was supposed to be this size. And you know, you have to order a minimum. I think it was a minimum of four. I waited and waited. My shipment went to New York. Oh my goodness. I had to call them, reorder it. Oh, oh my goodness. It took forever. So that's why this video is out so late in December because I had to wait for those bowls and lo and behold, they were the larger size. I guess they don't make the smaller size anymore. So I just wanted to mention that if you have the smaller size, I think it would work much, much better, but I made it work. So I carried on. <laughs> okay. After all that rambling, <laughs> let's get back to the project. So I'm going to take this, uh, red truck ornament, different size Christmas trees, that snowman ornament and this tree farm ornament. These are all from the Dollar Tree. The tree farm barn, that might be from Dollar General. I can't remember. I've had it in my stash uh, for some time. So I'm just going to cut the hangers off of these and I am going to add some snow to the tree farm uh, greenery on the bottom there and to the top of the tree farm the galvanized piece there. I added some white paint to that as well. And I'm just gonna glue these pieces onto my paddle. With some miter shears, I just cut the bottom of that wood piece on the tree. I just cut that to make it flat to glue to the paddle. The round wouldn't stick very well. I'm sure it would fall off. So I just uh, cut that I'm, and start with, so there we go, there's another picture. See, I'm just cutting a piece of that wood off just to make it flat. I also painted the base of those Christmas trees with the white chalk paint as well. Uh, you know, they're going to be snowy. It's a snow globe. <laughs> I used the color desk to make a desk sky background for the globe and it just looks like the snow, you know, kind of the snow mounds, if you will. And then I just kind of pieced everything down together before I glued it just to make sure I had everything placed where I wanted and to make sure that the, the plastic bowl will fit over all my pieces. And then I just started gluing all my pieces to the snow globe. Thank you. 
I used some clear nail polish to glue down the white stars. I don't know why I did this. I don't, I, I, I think a glue gun or I'm sorry, a glue stick would have worked much easier. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to try something different, I guess. It worked, don't get me wrong, but it would be much easier to just use a glue stick and glue these stars to the background um, in the sky. And here's a better look of what I was saying earlier about the fit. The bowl fits barely on this paddle. It's right on the edge. So what I decided to do is get some clear caulking seal from Home Depot. And I'm going to use that to glue and seal the paddle onto this bowl. So I'm gonna take some snow from the Dollar Tree. And I, in hindsight, I would have used a lot more snow than I did. If you would like to recreate this, use as much snow as you would like. But in my opinion, I needed more snow in my snow globe. <laughs> but anyway, so I am just going to add that snow. Now, I don't know why I added the snow to the the paddle first, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, a oops moment. Um, so anyway, I'm, I meant to put the snow inside the bowl first, but... It is what it is. So I here I am adding that snow to the center of the paddle there. And I'm just gonna dump it just like so. <laughs> so you can see what I mean. So I ended up dumping that paddle, I mean the snow into the bowl first because I need to seal this from the back, uh, not the front. So. Here I am dumping that snow into the bowl. I'm like, what did I do? That's when I realized, what did I do? <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, here I go. I'm just gonna dump <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take that seal and I'm just going to seal my paddle down. And it worked out perfectly. I mean, it, it kind of worked because that seal is clear, so you can't see it. You can feel it from the back, but you can't see it at all from the front. So that was it that I, you know, it, it just made it work. I used a little bit of hot glue just to tack that in place because it was a very hairline fit, as you can see, and it kept moving on me. So as soon as I got it right where I wanted, I just tacked it down with a couple dots of glue just to make sure it didn't move on me. Then using that clear seal, I just went all around stopping at the neck of the paddle. I didn't feel that was necessary. And I shook the snow in my snow globe and it did not come out the top. It's a very, very tight seal. And here they are. What do you think about that globe? I think it is so darling. And thank you, Mary, for the inspiration. Do you see how I could have used a lot more snow? But that's okay. My next one will have more snow. <laughs> this was my first try. <laughs> and there is the December sign. Thank you everyone for watching my video today. And do you see how the snow kind of sticks to the, the plastic? It kind of looks frosty in there, doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I love this. And there is the house. Thank you, Lini, for inspiring me to do something with this house frame. I think it came out so cute, clean looking. And yeah. I appreciate you all being here today. I hope I have inspired you. And there's the inside of my frame. I just printed out the word, or no, I actually used vinyl, white vinyl against that cardstock. It says Merry Christmas instead of the calendar. All right, everyone, have a merry, merry Christmas. This will be my last DIY for 
the year of 2023. Can you believe it? 2024 already. <laughs> so, and here it is with the calendar inside. You know, it's up to you how you want to do this. If you would like to make something like this, you can change that calendar out every year. So, yeah. All right, everyone. I will talk to you all in my next video. I sure hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.